In this podcast, we're going to discuss the uh, third gas law, Guy-Lussac's law. Um, this law states that pressure and temperature are directly related, um, given volume remains constant. The equation that describes this is P1 over T1 equal P2 over T2. Now let me note that um, temperature should always be in Kelvin when you're dealing with this. Um, I like to make the equation linear just as I did with Charles's law. So I'm going to cross multiply the t's up and I'm going to get this equation. Okay, so that's the equation I will use, the linear form. Here we can see a molecular level representation of Guy-Lussac's law. Um, we see that we have uh, gas particles in a box, and here's the pressure sensor and the temperature sensor. Um, I'm going to increase the temperature by adding heat, and you see that there's a direct correlation with the pressure. The pressure goes up just as the temperature goes up, so they're directly correlated. And then if I were to decrease the pressure, which we can do by letting some of these little molecules escape real quick. We can decrease the pressure. You see that there's a direct decrease in temperature. So pressure is the collisions on the molecules. Temperature is how fast they're going. So when you make them go faster, when they're traveling faster, faster, it would make sense that they have more collisions with themselves and the walls of the container. Therefore, the pressure also increases, okay? So keep this in mind when you're doing uh, calculations involving Guy-Lussac's law. This is what we're really talking about. All right, so an example of a spray paint can um, of paint were heated from 30.0 degrees. So this would be, okay, our T1 to 68 degrees. So this is T2. And the final pressure, so that'd be the second pressure, so P2, what's the initial pressure? So we're looking for P1. Now you notice that we have some messed up units. So we've got to get this uh, Celsius out of Kelvin, I mean, um, got to get it out of Celsius into Kelvin, Kelvin. So we're going to add 273 to each of those. Um, that'll make this one 341 Kelvin. And then this one would be 303 Kelvin. So we just added 273. That's our conversion. And I like to get my pressures to atmospheres. So 4,000 millimeters of mercury. And then do your millimeter mercury conversion, which is 760. And one ATM on top. All right. And that gives me a pressure of 5.26 atms. All right, now we can just plug into our equations. So we have P1 T2 equals P2 T1. All right, so our pressure 1, we don't know. Our pressure 2, I mean not pressure 2, but temperature 2 is 341. All right, our pressure two was what we converted down here, this 5.26 atmospheres. And our temperature one was 303. All right, now we're going to multiply right here. You get 15, 93.78. And that's equal to P1 times 341. Divide by 341 on both sides. Cancels. So you get P1 equals. And when we put that in the calculator, we get 4.67. And remember our units for pressure were atmospheres. And we got three sig figs, and that's the least number up here. So we're good. And that's how you do a Galu-Sachs problem.